everyone, I'm Stephanie. And I don't know about you, but this has felt like the longest week ever. It has been one thing after another, and I swear it's like a bad episode of Groundhog's Day with Monday after Monday after Monday. Luckily, the week's actually almost over. But I was thinking about the other night being the conclusion to a very long day. My youngest was doing everything in his power to delay bedtime, which he's really, really good at. And as we we're laying there and we've said our prayers and we're trying to finish up our cuddles and okay, it's, it's bedtime, see ya. He asked, mom, is the Easter bunny real? These are questions that I am never prepared for. He never asks when I'm like fully caffeinated and on my A game. He wants to ask these questions at the end of the day or when I'm doing 10 million other things and I'm not prepared to answer these. A good friend of mine once said, the best way to answer those hard questions is to ask another question. So I sat there for a quick moment, took a breath and said, well, what do you think? And he kind of puzzled and thought for a minute or two and said, well, you're real and I'm real. So the Easter bunny must be real. Okay, whatever you think. And we kind of rolled with it. And although it's a silly light example, it's a great mechanism and, and parenting strategy that has helped me get through some very uncomfortable conversations. My seven-year-old came home a couple months ago and said, Mom, I know how babies are born. Um, okay, let's talk about it. Tell me. And he explained how they come out through the belly button. Perfect, great, we're gonna run with that for now. When it's appropriate, we'll talk about all the other things, but for now, it got us through what could have been a really tough and hard conversation. My thought today, on a very long day after a very long week is to just remember, I don't have to have all the answers. James chapter one talks about being quick to listen and slow to speak. And for parenting with me, that has been a huge lifesaver. So here's to you from one coffee cup to, an act, to the next. Let's just get through this thing we call parenting. Hope you all have a great day. Duh. Burping up sushi.